Hey guys, um, I'm a little nervous. Um, tonight I'm going to a meeting and, um, it's, I'm just, I'm nervous about it because it's a, it's a, it's like a, a self-help group meeting thing and, um, you know, um, <laughs> I don't even know where to start. You know, I guess it's, this is kind of hard for me, you know, tonight and then to make this video because I, it's dealing with something that like, is like a problem with me, like that I have. Um, it's like my biggest insecurity, my biggest problem that I have in my life, the number one thing that I worry about all the time, and you know, it's my, my weight, and I've always struggled with my weight, and it's, 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 I've just never been skinny, and I've never been able to lose weight, you know, I can lose, you know, 10 pounds here, 10 pounds there, but I usually gain it back, because I always do, like, these crash diets, like, I just want it off fast kind of thing, and, um, and, anyways, I, I guess where I'm going with this is there's a show on TV called Mike and Molly, and, um, anyways, on the show, mm, they meet at this, this thing called, um, Overeaters Anonymous, and, you know, it's a funny, it's supposed to be a funny show, and I, and I like it, you know, because there's, you know, two, you know, bigger, you know, people that are romantic leads, and I like that, and I think that's great that it's on TV, and it's a funny show, um, you know, the only problem I have with it is, is they always make fat jokes, like, always, it's like, okay, really, people, like, I thought we're supposed to just, like, be like all the other sitcoms, but you know, I get it, it's the joke. Um, but but they go to this meeting, Overeaters Anonymous, and this last week, Mike went, you know, and gave his update about losing three pounds. Anyways, my mom watches it too, and the other day we had this discussion, you know, I've been, um, I've, you know, whenever I gain a little weight, I get this uh, mild, slight depression thing because it's like, you know, I sabotage myself. I was on the scale the other day, and I gained back actually 12 pounds from when I was at last November, which is awful. And I just felt so bad. And it's like, I don't mind exercising because I like to swim and I like going out and running and hiking and doing all that stuff. Um, I just, you know, and I guess, and I've been on like uh, health plans. I've actually got a dietitians, nutritionists. Um, they give me a plan and I can eat healthy foods. The thing is, is I, I just eat so much of them. It's the portion control thing. It's like, I can't stop eating. And, you know, food addiction is a real thing. I don't think people understand people. It's easy for people to say, well, just stop eating when you're full. Okay, <laughs> get that. Eat when you're hungry, don't eat when you're full. Okay, yes, in in logic and theory, I'm a smart girl, I get that. But what people don't understand is it's, it's almost like it's a comforting thing. It's if I'm sad, I eat. If I'm happy, we go out and celebrate and eat. Um, and I never feel full, you know? My stomach could, you know, not be hungry but I still want to eat food. I don't know that feeling of feeling full. And I'm, you know, at night, um, when I'm on my computer, I just always, always snack. You know, I, I, was, I guess I was brought up snacking, but it's like I always snack. I always, I can't go to a gas station without going in and picking up a bag of Cheetos or a candy bar. Um, at the movies, I, I always, you know, will try and eat beforehand so we don't want to snack on the food, but I always still end up eating. And I used to live with a boyfriend, and I used to have to hide. Like, I have to, used to have to eat in the car and, you know, pick up a meal. And, and even on traveling is the worst. Um, I always, like, pack, you know, just, like, three bags of chips, three candies. You know, I get a meal before I get on the plane because I'm, I'm worried. I'm constantly worried that I'm, I'm going to be hungry and I'm not going to have any food. And I guess this is something that I'm going to share at the meeting tonight because I am actually going to an Overeaters Anonymous meeting. My mom... Like I said, original story with the Mike and Molly thing. I was like, there are things like that for people. And as silly as it sounds, you know, to go to one of these things, I'm excited to meet people that kind of are feeling the same way I am, to know that it's not completely abnormal, and hopefully get some tips on, you know, um, how to overcome it. And, you know, there has to be people who are success stories there. I'm hoping, you know, it is LA. <laughs> I don't think there'll be many food addiction people, probably. Not eating food is more of a thing in LA, but I just need help, and I'm hoping just support, you know, um, see what people say, check in with myself, um, I don't know if I'm going to be brave enough to share it, you know, I'm really scared of getting judged. It's funny because 
when I go to auditions, skinny girls will always judge me. She's too big. What is she doing here? I'm scared to go to this one and be like, you know, she's not big enough. What is she doing here? I don't know. Maybe that's just a, a fear that's not, you know, that's not even real. It's just in my head. But I'm just scared. And I just, I don't know. I figure this is kind of like a support system, this YouTube thing. I don't know. Um, I don't really know. I don't really know. Um, I don't know. I'm just nervous. I'm just scared. I'm just a little... I don't know. I'm not usually vulnerable like this on my YouTube channel, but I, I'm nervous, and I figured this is a good way to kind of get my nerves out. Um, I don't know. Well, wish me luck. And, um, you know, maybe we can all support each other. Um, I, and I'll, I'll be checking in. Hopefully this goes good, and my peace of mind will be better, and I'm hoping to get help for this, because I really think that it's the food, it's the food that I struggle with. And um, the overeating and all that. So we'll see how this goes and we'll see what kind of help I can get. And um, I saw that Mike and Molly episode and the chalkboard behind Mike said, do not anger, do not worry is all I could make out. But I, I'm, I'm working on that because I know a lot of it's emotional and in my own, my own insecurities and my own mental struggles. So all right, here goes nothing.